This whiskey right here is a great little marriage of America and Ireland. Like us. And me! Let me tell you about it in this week's review. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt. I'm the Whiskey Nerd. I'm Rose and I'm the Whiskey Nerd. And like I said, this is going to be a great little marriage of America and Ireland. So let me get it into the glass and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Yeah, but it's not just the marriage for the reasons that you might think. It's not our marriage. It's almost my marriage to a country. Yeah, so we visited the Boan Distillery, the, the folks behind the yes. Whistler and well they gifted us a very nice bottle which is i think a mm. single cask whiskey mm. only available in specs wines and finer foods yeah which is i think a, a texas it's a, from texas it's a liquor store down there and they do a single barrel select and someone here became an irish citizen quite recently so we decided to celebrate by opening up this bottle. Yeah, yeah, because we thought it'd be a great little connection or marriage of Ireland and America. So we saved it for a while. Yes. And then the day I got my citizenship, we opened it up because why not, right? Yeah, if you want to see the video of us traveling around Bowan Distillery, meeting the head distiller, getting to know all the casts and everything, there'll be a link up there, there'll be a link down below. Make sure to check it out after this because they are a very good distillery making some very good stuff. Yeah, but definitely. what's important right now is what's in this bottle. This yes. is a blended Irish whiskey. It is also a single cask release. Ooh. It was aged for 11 years in bourbon barrels before being finished for 14 months in Jose Maria Fonseca Muscatel cask. So Muscatel is a kind of a sweet mm. wine. will give you a lot of kind of those sweet flavors. It also is a cask strength whiskey coming in at 56.87% alcohol. Oh yeah. So that's about... Not for the faint of heart. No, it's almost 114 proof, so it's going to be quite strong. I think quite, a Texan could handle it. I think quite handy for a Texan. I think maybe yeah, capturing that bourbon market. Yeah. Maybe sometimes the bourbons are a bit hotter. They are maybe over 100 proof, so this definitely does kind of bring that Irishness mm -hmm. with a bit of the wine finishing in to match that bourbon kind of palate. Yeah. So that's enough talking about the whiskey. I think we should go in for the nose on it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Slauncha. Slauncha. Oh. oh. Yeah, there's a lot of like fruity berry notes like kind of coming in like that wine, that in wine influence is definitely there. Yeah. But you can smell a little bit of the 56.87%. 56.87%, yes. yeah, you can definitely. It definitely feels like there's a lot of presence. Yeah, there's a lot of presence. That's a great way of putting yeah, it. It's yeah. not like... But like there is, there are, like, it does smell sweet though. Yeah. You like, know? It was, a ten, it was 10 years in bourbon barrels and, oh, sorry, 11 years in bourbon barrels and then 14 months in those uh, Muscatel wine casks. Okay, okay. There's going to be a lot of that sweetness from the bourbon coming through. Ooh. Before getting that wine influence on top of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I'm just getting like... I always feel silly saying caramel or whatnot, but that's kind of what I'm getting here. It's got a lot of caramel. But yeah, then, but there's something else in there in terms of the sweetness. Of, in terms of berries, like maybe a, oh. like a cranberry or that kind of like a... I could see that. Slightly tartar red berries. Yeah. Maybe not like a straw, maybe like a raspberry, like a, yeah. you know, that cranberry, that kind of like slightly tartar red berry. Like someone was going like berry picking and they're like, you know what would suit a whiskey? Berries and whiskey uh, together at last, you know. Yeah, here, have, have whiskey. Here first, yeah. But yeah, I get that for sure yeah. because there's definitely like a mixture of sweetness. It's not yeah. always your traditional sweetness that's on the nose. Yeah, I mean it is at least twelve years, twelve years old. I mean eleven years in bourbon, fourteen months. So it is going to be also there's a bit of like oak spice, that kind of baking spice as oh, well okay. coming through. A little bit of that, but yeah, just a nice like amount of presence in the glass. I'm yeah. actually getting. Yeah, the more I sit with it, I'm getting maybe like a, maybe it's like a slight nuttiness, like yeah. a... Yeah, but it's hard to figure out which one it could be. Yeah. I feel like I've got walnut in my head. It could be like the, yeah, the walnut. I think the, it's um, a walnut, ooh. With like that, you know, the, the skin of the walnut. Yes, yeah, I taste walnut that. in my mouth now, so it must be walnut. Yeah. So I think, uh, let's go in for the taste then. <gasps> let's go in for the palate. Oh, cheers. cheers. There's a lot of presents there. Yeah, it's not like... It's not the thickest, it's not the... No! No, but it is like, it does spread it out. It spreads out nicely. Coach them out. I am getting like, kind of like a, 
like a bourbony note. Like if you think of like that. Well, it makes sense. That oak spice. I mean, they are pitching it maybe at that kind of Texan palate. Yeah. That kind of. Um, I get it oakiness. Yeah, that oakiness. That because bourbon barrels, bourbon is aged in virgin oak, so you're gonna get a lot of that oak spice mm. coming through. So definitely a little bit of that kind of oakiness. It's oak forward. It's oak forward, but still sweet. Like still. Yeah, getting, yeah. Yeah, like. I'm gonna figure out what that is in there. I wouldn't say that it like tastes like a wine. Like some mm. whiskeys I've had that were finished in a wine cask, you can definitely taste that wine. Yeah. But it kind of is more like it definitely has that wine influence coming through. It definitely has that wine characteristic, that sweet wine, the sweetness, the berries as well. Yeah, through. yeah, I'd say so. I think it's just like it's a strong whiskey. Yeah, I mean at fifty six point eight seven percent it's gonna have a lot of, Fair kind enough. of forward presence yeah. to you, but yeah, it's quite But I'd say like I'm not surprised this went out to the Texan market. I feel like there'd be a like of like that oaky bourbon mm. vibe out there. So I'd say like they really like it, you know? Yeah. And if you like that kind of thing, this is yeah. probably the one to go for. I mean, it's not available in Ireland. Oh, sorry, so, sorry guys. <laughs> well, if you are in Texas, if you are near a, was it Specs, Wines, Spirits, and finer foods, mm -hmm. you can maybe pick up a bottle of this because it was a single cask release. I think they might have done one or two other releases for specs. Yeah. But this is. Um, and didn't the buddy of yours go and actually go get it recently? Yes, Doc from Old Fashioned Ways. He lives in Texas and he passed by a specs, saw this, sent me a picture and said, Is this the one you guys have? And I said, Yes, it is. That's it. It was very nice. And I think he picked himself up a bottle, but it's very nice. But yeah. for now, Let's go in for the finish. Ooh. What's the last note? What is it, what's it lingering on in it? Up front, when you go into the palette, you get that kind of spread out, but again, not thick. Yeah, it's, it's not syrupy. Not syrupy, but it's also not thin. It's just kind yeah. of like strong and kind of powerful. Like it does kind of Control. coat. It's like a, like with a red with some red wines where you, you get that kind of uh, tingling in your uh, ah. in your cheeks. Yeah. It's that kind of feeling where it's there, it's present, it's in your whole yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah. That then you get that oakiness. You get the kind of the winey berry influence as well. Yeah. Behind that oakiness, it is sweet, but it's not like sweet, sweet. Yeah, it's not like a vanilla buttercream. Right yeah. There. It's, like, it's that, like if you like oakiness, and then with a touch of sweetness rather than sweet and the touch of like spicy or oak. You yeah. Know? Because on the finish, like I'm still getting that sweetness. Okay. But it's not like like you said, it's not that forward sweetness and yeah. that kind of oaky sweetness there. Okay. The berry notes have faded off for me, leaving that oakiness. Okay, I get quite an oaky finish yeah. for me. So okay. for me, like the sweetness is, I'd say mostly gone from the palate. So it's like an oaky finish. Yeah. Touch spicy, but then the spice could also be the percentage. <laughs> spicy could also be the percentage. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's all there is to say about this. I mean, if you are in a different part of America and you've got your own single cask of because I know they did it for not just for Specs, I think they did it for a couple of other stores. Let us know. Yeah, see if you can find it. See if you can find anything from the Whistler. Let us know down in the comments below. We put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays. We put out cocktail recipes featuring whiskeys on Fridays. So if you want to see more like that, make sure you scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Slaunch it. Bye bye.